All right, guys, so this is kind of what I wanted to do these videos for so that you could learn from some of our mistakes. So one of the mistakes I'm seeing is maybe because I've set this up progressionally, I'm not really sure. So we had them down in this corner pasture and the entrance was, see the goats right there? The entrance was over there by the goats. And then they would walk down that tree line to the um, rest station with the water and the, the mineral block. Now they would walk back down to the lane and we progressively got further and further from the rest area. Now, what I didn't take into consideration was that they wouldn't continue to understand that walking down the lane led to their pasture. So a couple of problems I've seen. One, I have this goat fence set up right here. And it's a little more of an intense fence than just the poly tape. Now, I'm completely guessing on some of this stuff. Um, I could be wrong. I'm just trying to put two and two together. So a couple of things I did is, I'm not sure, I'll change angles. So this was at a very sharp 90 degree angle. And I went ahead and took that out and eased the corner because now they have to go up this lane on the fence line to get to their next pasture. Now when we made that change, I assumed that they were just going to make the turn and continue to follow the path. But what I did not anticipate is that the turn, I don't know if it's the turn specifically or if it was the length, the, the distance, changing the distance too quickly was where the problem lied. lied. Now I don't know what the right word is. Okay. So, like I said, you can see that orange spiel. Apparently doing videos at 8 in the morning is not to my advantage. The orange spool of electric fencing right there is where the last opening was. So they had to walk, continue to walk down that fence that uh, Premier One fencing, and then turn and come up this lane. Now we've moved them twice since then, and they're not moving down the trail as often as I was like I would like. So they're spending a substantial amount of time on the grass, which I would like to see more of a two to four hour rotation of being in the pasture, eating, and then going back to the rest area. Now we are getting really close to completing this circle up the fence. Then we have a road that goes up and then around the riding area up to the barn. And then it'll go down from the barn back down to that big tree. So that will be one full circle. They like the barn, so maybe we'll be able to pick up speed. Some of the problem that, again, I'm assuming is that when they're down in this pasture, and they're, they've been here since last night, there's the tree. I don't know if it's too big of a stretch for them to understand that they have to walk away from the tree, down the fence, down the wood line, back to the tree. Down the wood line's not the problem because they do that. It's down the fence line to the wood line. And again, I don't know if it's walk away to walk towards that may be causing us a little bit of stickiness. So I do know that when I came down this morning, they immediately got in line and followed me down the trail at least down to the down the fence line trail until I got them to the corner. Once I got them to the corner, my daughter called them. We've been working on 
having a call for them. And once they got down this fence line trail to the wood line trail, they all took off down to the rest area. So we've got to somehow bridge the gap. And I think I'm gonna use a combination of the positive reinforcement training as well as the recall or draw where we're calling them in and they're going to where we are. So teaching them to come up the fence line and down the wood line to get to us. Now, like I said, so you can see here, this was at a sharp 90 degree angle. And then I eased that to open, took that corner away. So this was less pressure, particularly for storm. Like I said, she can still get a little snorty when this tightens up on her. And then I spent some time out here in this corner yesterday, making this corner less of a scary spot. So I got them down here at Liberty yesterday and they did do some good movement not ideal movement, but decent movement yesterday during the day. But last night, I'm not sure. I checked on them a few times and I didn't see a ton of movement. So now they're down here. They know where the rest area is, but I think I am going to have to figure out how to close the gap between the fence line trail and the wood line trail. All right, so I'm gonna move animals. And as we progress through this, I'm hoping to get this all set up so that the work effort decreases substantially. Because moving animals every day is work. That is for sure. 